Welcome guys on another video on Marco Bricks and today we are building an Ender Speed Chaser from the Diorama series of Star Wars as you can see here this is the front of the box this set also has the brick the piece for the 40 years of the return of the Jedi here as you can see we have Princess Leila a uh, scout trooper we have uh, Luke here and we have his uh, catchphrase here that say quick jump the comlinks uh, center switch and that's the main figure that's the back of the box we have Luke uh, with the light, green lightsaber the dimension of the set, the size of the set it's 20 cm high and 28 cm wide. I think this will be a square, a perfect square, 28 per 28. And let's go open it. I always use, as you know, a brick separator to do that job. Let's see if this will be useful also this time. Yes. It's a yes for me. Okay. And now let's go the difficult part here. Okay. And that's it. Inside we have one, two, three, four, three, five bags. Some brown plates here. The instructions, which are pretty big, they are really really big, and the box is, itself is a little bit smaller than the others of the diorama series, I don't know why, but that's it, and let's go, let's start build this diorama. Let's start uh, by opening the instructions, as you can see here we have a lot of scenes from the film, and uh, let's start with bag number one. Let's, play, let's place these uh, brown pieces here, brown plates, and let's start by adding these black uh, ribbons here. Let's add these other two pieces. And let's continue by placing all the other black ringdowns here that will give it as some reinforcement, some uh, structural reinforcement for the Urano. Let's continue by add all the borders here with some silver plated greens. Let's add the final touch with these uh, plates. Let's place the Star Wars logo and it's done the bag number one. Let's go with bag number two. Let's start by putting on some green here. So a lot of green plates that will represent the soil of our uh, forest. The grass also here. Continue to add. I mean, with this particular type of instruction that will show you from above the, the set from above. It's really really simple to put all this piece together. It's something that I really really like. Let's start by adding all this. Other plates here, these are like two shields. We put in the wrong place on the right. And now let's add the light green one piece dots. Let's 
And now let's add some leaves. Now let's place these other pitches and this stone. Now let's go with bag number three. Let's start by building the minifigure of uh, Leila here. Which actually came in this uh, camo suite with the, the little blaster on his hands. And now let's start build the first tree. As you can see here, these trees are really, really high. Let's add some green part here. Continue to add some uh, brown part on the top. Some wood here. Let's add some leaves on the side. Some green, some brown, some tiles. And now let's do the last side of this tree. Something missing here. Yep, that's definitely a missing piece. Yep. Maybe yes, maybe no. Yes. Yes. Well, I think Lego is going to receive an email for me. Let's continue. Photo. Luckily, the uh, customer support is really, really fast, so I won't be. I will be able to put the final piece here in maybe two or three days. Let's add some. Uh, some other room on the top, some lips here. They're actually dark green and uh, like a sand green, some color like that. Let's place it on the top for our tree. Let's add some you know, final touch with these uh, leaves on the bottom, some roots. Some other leaves. Okay, and I'll touch and continue with bag number four. As you can see here, we are going to build our scout trooper. We tuck this uh, helmet that's uh, actually two pieces of uh, plastic uh, linked together. So it's really, really nice. I really appreciate that. Let's put in this blaster, take some photos, and now let's place it near our Princess Leila. Let's uh, add some transparent part here, some leaves, and now the transparent support for our speeders. Now 
we're going to build our first speeder. You see on YouTube there are a lot of videos where actually this set get uh, motorized with some uh, Lego Technic parts, some motors, some stuff like that to make uh, the like the speeders are uh, jingling around and it's really really nice. It's something I will do someday maybe. Let me know in the comments if you have some motorized set. I was very, very, always very interesting about that, uh, but uh, unfortunately, the only set that are actually motorized without uh, any mock are uh, the Technic one and not all the Technic one. So, yeah, to motorize some Star Wars set is uh, always uh, really difficult. continue by building our speeder. Yeah, it's all together and that's uh, the main part of the first one. Now let's build the front part. Okay. So the pit stand speeder and now take a photo let's link the control here and now let's see where I'm going to put it okay. actually the structure not pretty clear so it will be really easy to find where to link the speeder now let's continue by building the second one All this brown part here. I mean, this this particular color, this uh, light uh, sand orange and sand yellow, sorry, and uh, dark sand yellow came out also in the Yoda Swamp uh, diorama. And they used for build the Yoda hub, you know, this little his uh, little house. Now let's link the front part, of the back part of the speeder. Now let's place the stand. Let's add the controls here. And Let's try to link it here. Okay, and that's good. Go with bag number five. As you can see here, I hope that you notice we have our pink brick and our 40 years of the return of the Jedi brick. Most importantly, here we have our Luke Skywalker with his green lightsaber. Let's place it. Take some photos here. And as you can see here, we have our pink piece. In this case is a pink plate. But uh, if you don't know the story about uh, why in a very Star Wars set there is a pink brick, I'm going to tell you right now. It's because the one of the developers of the set, of the Star Wars uh, series of uh, Lego, it's a Star Wars Lego series, has a wife. And uh, he has a, 
a, like a trade with his wife. For every Star Wars set, he is able to put a pink piece inside. Uh, his wife will make him a cake. So that's uh, really a, basically a, a, a challenge for every builder to find where he will put the pink brick in every Star Wars set. In the Breakout series, it's, it's uh, simple. It's inside on, on, it's inside the head, many times. But in the other set, it's uh, sometimes uh, too, it's a little bit challenging to find where it's going to put this uh, pink uh, piece. In not in all set, he was able to put it. For example, in the some battle packs or some small set like that. He wasn't able to put it, but uh, in many, many of the Star Wars set there is this pink brick. And uh, one way or another he is going to find a way to put it. I mean, also in the Micro Fighter series there is the pink brick, so yeah. you can find it uh, only with a uh, square 2x1, uh, 2x2, two two two, some stuff like that. Now, we have finished to build our tree, our second tree. We are going to add the leaves on the top. Now, as the tree before, we have four pair of leaves here. Let's add the leaves at the bottom. the final touch the leaves now let's place here and now let's add the 40 years of the jai and that's it for today guys as you can see here we have the scout trooper here and we have Leila and Luke here we have the bricks for the 40 years of the, the jedi the phrase of the of uh, Luke, Luke Skywalker and the Lego Star Wars logo. And that's it for this set. I mean, it's really a dynamic set. As you can see here, you can barely see the white pole, the transparent pole, that one is here and one is in the back, that link the Scout Speeder. And uh, as I show you here in the instruction, you have this page which show you two different positions, possible position of the, the speeder, simply by removing this uh, piece to link the speeder to the base. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. That's the back of the set. As you can see here, we have still a missing piece, but I hope LEGO will send it to me soon. I will send them an email on their website on this missing piece section. And there's something here. That's okay. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and Leave a like if you like this video. Don't forget to check my Instagram page. And that's all for today. May the force be with you and see you on the next video. Ciao!